Welcome to the channel, my name is Matt Atiyah, and today I'm going to be breaking down the lighting of this brand video I shot. So that's just the taste of the final video, which you can watch at the end. In most instances, you want complete control over the lighting, which is why we chose to film at night, so the sun wasn't giving us any inconsistency in our lighting, as well as turning off the existing lighting in the location. That gives us a complete blank canvas. This was a three-person crew, and I knew I had to keep the lighting very simple, so we had one Aperture 300D and four Astera tubes and we knew we wanted to get a dark and moody look. I was initially thinking to rig our aperture light above, creating a softbox, but we didn't have the right tools for that, so instead we took a much simpler approach, which was taking some fishing wire, tying it off above, and then putting it around our stair tube, which created our key light, as well as a existing practical. I like the look of this, and to take things one step further, I took my 300D with the Fresnel mount and a cyan gel, and I raked it along the back windows outside, creating some color contrast and separating our subject from the back window. When utilizing a top light, it always creates a pool of light, and it's always best to stick on the outside of that pool of light, because that's that's going to create shadow and interest. As opposed to being on the inside of the circle, things aren't going to be as interesting and it's going to be a lot flatter. I always like lighting for our widest shot first because whenever you're going in for close-ups after that, it makes things a lot easier and all you need to do is make some minor adjustments. In our case, all I needed to do was take another Astera tube and turn it to the same color that our exterior light is and just adding it a little bit as a backlight. I like shooting into the L of the room because that gives us the most depth in three dimension. What I mean by that is the corner of the room as you could see here. This was shot on my C200 using the 18-35 and the 50-100 and I chose to shoot at ISO 200 because that would give us a lot cleaner shadows. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown and if you have any more questions, I'll happily answer them below and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and we'll see you in the next.